here we are in the old city uh, of Jerusalem in the market area going down towards the western wall and at this time of the year it's normally absolutely packed with people from all over the world uh, but because of the corona restrictions very very difficult for people to uh, come to Israel and it's very very quiet here and as you can see the market area is almost empty and the only people that we're seeing are locals and Israelis coming uh, to visit because they're doing a staycation uh, like uh, anybody else in other parts of the world so it really is something quite extraordinary to see the old city market just so quiet at this time of year unfortunately hopefully it'll get back to normal as soon as possible places in uh, Christianity. Uh, this is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, a uh, place that is uh, especially uh, sacred to the Christian world, uh, the place where it is believed the crucifixion took place. And uh, normally, as we've mentioned a time or two going around the old city, you would struggle to get close to this or you'd have to queue. But at the moment, because of the corona, uh, we're in a situation where there are virtually no foreign tourists and uh, the church itself is very very quiet indeed and anybody that was able to come here now will be able to go inside avoiding the usual crush and enjoy one of the most beautiful churches separated into the five different sections and it really is a very very special place for any visitor to the city of Jerusalem and it it really does just give you a feeling of uh, history, of walking through history, through the old cities, having come through the Via Dolorosa and up through the Arab market, all the way here to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in the Christian Quarter. It's quite extraordinary to be standing here just four meters from the tomb of Jesus Christ, that in the fourth century this was established as the place where Jesus was buried and where the crucifixion take place uh, took place close by and that this particular tomb has been built and rebuilt many times uh, over the years but the last time it was built was in 1810 and inside over the barrier the tomb of Jesus Christ no less where Hundreds of thousands of people come every year from every corner of the world to touch the stone and to get closer uh, to uh, Jesus Christ and to solidify their beliefs. An extraordinary place in extraordinary relative silence due to the current situation and a privilege to be here and so close to such a remarkable spot in world history. Well, here we are at the Kotel, the Western Wall on a very, very hot day. This is normally absolutely packed here, but as you can see, the Western Wall is fairly quiet and they've taken special precautions because of uh, Corona to make little pod areas so not too many people are confined in a small space. So they've certainly taken the right precautions in trying to protect the public. Lots of people that are religious and secular are coming here to pray at the Western Wall next to the Temple Mount. Uh, the holiest place on earth for the Jewish faith. This really is a very, very special part of the world. Because of the corona situation, it's very quiet and behind me, you can probably only see me in the shade because what we're really interested in is this remarkable site which we're not able to enter. But this is the famous uh, Golden Dome Mosque uh, at the Dome of the Rock. And again, very quiet, but it really is one of the most remarkable sights with all the tiled walls and the golden uh, kippah, the dome. And uh, a very, very special place for uh, the Muslim world and one of the great iconic sites of the city of Jerusalem. We hope to see it in future along with the Western Wall and all the churches uh, packed with people when everybody starts to return 
when things get back to normal in this world. Well, we just had a great uh, night staying in the old city of Jerusalem. It's been a, a terrific experience, one everybody should experience at least once in their life. Um, we've stayed at a lovely new boutique hotel with just uh, eight rooms, but very lovely, in a great location in the Jewish quarter. And with me is Chaim, who uh, I ran into just before, and he's the owner of this place. And you were telling me, Chaim, it's been open just six months, yeah, and you, ch you really chose a great town to open it. <laughs> <laughs> we open like one month, maybe six weeks after the Corona start. Yes. We were thinking that in a few weeks it will pass and you know it will go with like uh, normal news and something like yes. that, but it's yeah. still with us. It's still with us, but now as we've found being around Jerusalem overnight that the people are coming back to the city, confidence is returning and are you starting to see people coming back and booking again and life's beginning to come back to some sense of normality? Yeah, obviously yes, but um, I would separate, meaning that uh, the tourists coming, but they are Israeli tourists. Yes. Most of tourists before that in Jerusalem was out of Israel. Yes. Right now, I don't think in the three months that we are opening, even one tourists came from right. out of phase, right? Which is remarkable because anybody that's ever been here to Jerusalem and the old city knows that this is a place thronging with tourists from all over the world, Christian pilgrims, Jewish people, Muslim from all over the world. And we saw ourselves last night that really it's Ivrit, it's Hebrew we're hearing on the streets right. and not English or French or Spanish or German really. So. We've had a great stay. I hope a lot of people are going to come back to the old city soon. Thank you. And uh, your hotel in this lovely uh, area. We're very. Cl How far are we from the Western Wall? Um, Between two minutes walking to four minutes. And the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Uh, this is like minutes and a half. Uh huh. And the Golden Dome Mosque, uh, the Al Aqsa. The it's also around yeah. two three minutes. This, this is why this is such a, is a remarkable place for so many people and. Thank you very much for having us stay. We've had a lovely time here. Thank you. Good luck. Thank Let's hope everything over. opens up. <laughs> yes.